Hi, hi, welcome back. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be talking about something a little bit different because uh, today I'm gonna to be talking tape. You may or may not know, um, but about six years ago, five, six, seven years ago maybe, um, after having worked in the hi-fi industry for probably 30 years at that point, I came across reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape. Now I had come across reel-to-reel -reel tape before that point, but the difference was rather than playing the sort of the typical three and three quarter, seven and a half IPS um, commercially available tapes, which, which was sold from sort of, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, um, which, you know, some can sound really good. Some can sound better than, better than anything uh, on vinyl, in fact. Uh, so, you know, really good. So, um, Rewind or fast forward, in fact, from there a couple of years to um, I was at the Munich show, the high end show in Munich, and I came across a stand uh, manned by a chap called Volker Langer. This is the, the company was Lutz Precision, which you uh, were in the automotive industry, and they had uh, and were selling um, one to one copies of master tapes. Um, and the really interesting thing here is they had six titles. They were all um, Oscar Peterson albums. Now, Oscar Peterson is a bit of a favorite um, and and I just had to buy one. So I, you know, I made this, uh, my selection out of the, the, the choice of six they had, bought one. And um, um, and it, it just it just blew my mind, actually. I mean, it really did. The, the difference from, from the best vinyl I'd, I'd got was, was, was tremendous. So that started a bit of a, uh, a collecting spree. And after a few years and a lot of um, trawling through the internet, trying to find information uh, and coming across just a raft of disin misinformation, conflicting information and everything else, uh, I basically ultimately ended up creating uh, my own website, which is called therealtorealrambler.com. Now, um, if I can work out how to put a link, I'll put a link there or there or wherever it is. Uh, if I don't work out how to do that, then it'll be down in the description. Um, and that was a, I, I just wanted to create somewhere that, that, that collated all the information I could find about real to real, uh, sifted through the misinformation from the, uh, the, the factual information and, um, you know, it was just sort of like a one-stop resource for all things tape. And I ran this past um, Tim DeParavicini, who, who, who passed away a couple of years ago now. Uh, I mean, he maintained, you know, um, Abbey Road machines. He maintained, I believe he maintained the machines at uh, Mobile Fidelity, um, uh, Paul McCartney's machines, Dave Gilmore's, you know. What that guy didn't know about tape and worth knowing. So, um, yeah, I kind of felt that I was on fairly safe ground with that. But um, anyway, so you know, this, this basically, I I had a an absolute love affair, and fascination with tape, and um, I've been watching the um, the market over the last few years, and more and more and more tape labels uh, labels are coming up and releasing tapes, and. Um, you know, these things are not, they're nothing like the old commercial tapes you used to buy. What, what's being sold these days from, from reputable companies, such as uh, the one in, in the subject of today's review, are really effectively one-to-one -one copies of master tapes. They're produced, uh, you know, using um, studio equipment by studio engineers, and, and you're getting a direct copy of an original master tape. So this is what your records, your CDs, your essay CDs even, and your DVD audios, your high-res downloads. This is what those things were made, were made from in, in, you know, in, in the cases of where, you know, something that's an analog recording. So really, I don't think they can be beaten. So anyway, why today's video? What sparked this one? So amongst the companies producing tape, one of the more recent ones actually is Analog Productions, who we, you will know make some incredible vinyl copies uh, and, 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 and releases. In fact, my most recent review was of their um, Kind of Blue um, 
UHQR issue, which is just stunning. So here we go. This is what uh, this is the, the latest uh, incoming into the uh, the Denya household, and um, I've already actually already bought five. I've got five of these up on the shelf. Five different um, Animal Productions tapes, and I've got another five on order. But this one came from um, Brook Audio or MCRU or the Vinyl Adventure dot com. Basically, my friend David Brook. And I saw uh, he, he'd got a couple of these, but he just dabbled and bought a few tapes in and um, basically was selling them uh, at a very reasonable price. Cheaper than I can buy them direct. I don't know the price I bought them direct because I've already done that. And as I say, I've already got an order in for another batch. Uh, so I bought this from him, £450 delivered. Now the retail price of these in the US is $450. So you might think, well, 450 pounds, that's uh, that's more money. Yes, it is, of course it is. But uh, you know, um, things as they are, we've got to pay shipping, which is, well, as I say, my first batch I bought just about a year ago. I bought five tapes um, uh, I had to add the, you know, obviously I had to add the shipping onto that. Um, and then, uh, if I remember right, I got a UPS bill for um, I mean about six hundred pounds or stuff, something like that, for duty, VAT, and all that malarkey. So, um, by the time these arrive, if you buy one direct, it's it's over five hundred pounds. It's going to be over five hundred pounds, well over. So, um, four hundred and fifty delivered is you know, it's a notable saving. And, you know, having got five of these already, I can vouch for the quality. There is, you know, there's nothing better. It is literally the case of that. They're all just damn fine things and, and, and as good as you're going to get. So, Nora Jones, come away with me. Why this one? Well, hell, you know, it's, it's, a, um, it's a heck of an album. Um, her debut album, um, I'm sure you'll know, but Nora Jones is the daughter of uh, Ravi Shankar. This was her first album released in 2002. Uh, it won five Grammy Awards. I think it was Album of the Year, Record of the Year, uh, Best New Artist, Best Pop Vocal Performance, and Best Female Vocal Performance. And then... Um, uh, I believe uh, the song on it, Don't Know Why, um, the, the writer of that, Jesse Harris, won uh, a Grammy for the Song of the Year. And the producer, Arif uh, Mardan, won um, Producer of the Year. So, you know, kind of the album in it, like, picks up seven awards, um, uh, you know, uh, just just in terms of Grammys, it, 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 it's a diamond rated album, diamond status from um, for selling 10 million copies, well, in excess of 10 million copies. Um, and it is just, it's just beautiful music. It's beautiful music. It's beautifully played. It's beautifully sung. It's, it's kind of easy listening in the most um, wonderful sense. It's not that, you know, that by no means an offence or cheesy, cheesy nonsense. This is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music. Um, I, I've had this about three or four days and I just can't stop playing it, frankly. And when I'm not playing it, I've got it going through my head on a continual earworm. So what more can you ask for, you know? So that's, uh, that's, that's tape and that's Nora Jones' Come Away With Me. Now, specifically, Analog Productions Ultra Tape. Well, let me tell you a little bit more about this and what you get. So first of all, you get a very nice box for your £450 or dollars, depending on where you are. Very, very nice solid box. It's a weighty old thing because if you're not familiar with tape, you'll, you'll find out what's in here. So take that off. You've got a nice inner tray. I'll put this to one side. And then in here, if we lift this out, put this tray to one side too, hang on. 
put a bit of paperwork, which I'll come to, and uh, two further very, very solid boxes, which contain the two reels of tapes. And you can see here, you've got the studio notes on here. Uh, side A, side B, seven tracks on each side. Um, it states the 15 IPS. It states the calibration level plus five over 185 nanoweavers, IEC stroke CCIR EQ, quarter inch tape, etc. So in each of these boxes, you get one of these. Beautiful, beautiful metal reel uh, marked A and B. Um, and the tape on this reel is recording the masters uh, SM900, which is their SM900 Studio Mastering 900, is their top spec tape. It's the highest uh, output tape. It has the highest saturation level, um, and um, you know can take massive peaks without without distorting, and, and and you can record at a higher level. So consequently, obviously the noise is relatively lower. So. Um, you know, it's as good as, it really, really is as good as you're going to get. And um, the thing about these are, they, they so there's plenty of videos uh, on the market from analog productions. They make, they're, they're, they're a hugely uh, transparent company. They're, there's there's no kind of grey area and smoke and mirrors about how they do things. It's, 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 it's beautifully open and I really uh, appreciate and applaud them for that. And again, if I can work out how to do these links, I'll put a link up here. Well, maybe I'll just put the link in the description to to uh, one or two of their videos. They've got um, some excellent videos on how they produce their tapes, uh, how, you know, all sorts of things. It's, it's, I, I don't urge you to just take a look at them. Um, you know, you'll, you can lose hours watching them chat away. So basically, this is a really, you know, it's a beautiful, solid reel. It's excellent quality tape, as good as literally as good as it gets um, on 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 here. And so, um, basically, what what analog productions do is they will get uh, the master, the original master, and they will make a new running master. You know, whatever you want to call it. Some people will say, "Oh, it's not a, it's not a master. It's a copy. It's a production process step." or whatever, um, but uh, let's call it a running master for now. Uh, so from the original, they will make, or have made from in the original studio, you know, whatever, it will be professionally made a half inch, 30 inch per second uh, running master. And um, that's kind of as good as they can make it. And then from that, in real time, so it's uh, if it's a half hour side, it'll take a half hour of copying. In real time, they will copy that, duplicate that from that master to this, to the to the actual thing that you're buying. Um, and they use uh, Ampex uh, ATR one hundred tape machines, which are renowned uh, professional studio mastering tape machines. Um, which are exquisitely maintained and fitted with them, state-of-the-art flux, flux magnetic heads. Um, and all of this is done by a you know, fully trained professional um, tape stroke mastering engineer, uh, whose name I believe is Math Matthew uh, L L Luthens, Matthew Luthens. Um, and each one is individually handmade by him in real time from the master. From that from that running master so um in place of if you think about even the very best vinyl you know i've been talking about mobile fidelity one steps they sound so much better than uh you know the most obvious comparison would be with the mobile fidelity release of the same title <coughs> which i have done on occasions um and um they sound they sound noticeably better well, that's cutting out two stages of uh, molding, if you like. This cuts out, you know, but you've still got two stages of molding and a cutting stage. And the um, manipulation of the signal prior to the cutting 
in other words, sort of e equalizing, monoing the bass maybe, just the things that you have to do, a bit of compression here and there to, to sort of stop the needle jumping out the groove. So um, you lose all of that with this. So this is like no step plus one, or it's like minus minus two step almost. You know, it's it's uh, this is as good, literally, this is as good as you get. The only way you can get better than this is if you actually had the master. And let's face it, um, you haven't got the master and you're not going to get the master. And, um, you know, it's produced in real time. So it's not just one reel, of course, like I say, in here. You've actually got two reels, A and B, individually numbered on the back here. Number 22, oh no, that's catalogue 22, sorry, that's his uh, catalogue number 22. Um, and, and signed by uh, Matthew Matthew uh, Luthens. Don't know how you pronounce his name. Sorry, Matthew, if that's wrong. And um, yeah, they sound they sound incredible. The the, the difference between this and um, a vinyl copy. Now I haven't analog productions do do this on vinyl. They they've got double forty five RPM pressings, which I'm sure are incredibly good. In, in, yeah, I'm sure, frankly, the best, the next best thing to this. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I can't really say much more about this. It, it's, um, it's an incredible album. It's beautiful. It's, you can listen to it over and over and over and over again without getting bored. Um, the quality is utterly exceptional. Um, what analog productions give you for your money, frankly, is, 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 is pretty damned incredible. And, you know, you might be thinking 500 pounds an album, but it's, this is not, it's not, you know, just you've really got to stop thinking about this in comparison with um, a CD or an LP, because this is not mass a mass produced product. Um, this is made in a studio, just the same, you know, in same same way that, that your master tape was made. Um, it's made in a studio on the same equipment using the same raw materials. Now, a, a roll of blank tape is currently about $80, 80 pounds, similar. Um, so there's two of those here. So there's $160, 160 pounds, whatever. Um, there's, you know, there's some substantial packaging here, really, really nice packaging. Um, you've got to have the, 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 uh, the wages of these, you know, these, um, fully trained professional, you know, mastering engineers, tape engineers now, and as I said, this is made in real time. So it takes, uh, you know, say it's a, you know, 50 minute album or so, you can tidy it all up, but you know, best part of an hour. Um, uh, so just purely the running of the copy takes that guy an hour. Uh, and there's all the setup, all, all of the machines are set up and aligned and calibrated prior to each sort of uh, production batch. Uh, the machines need um, incredibly accurate calibration and maintenance. Um, so I, I, I think there's probably, um, it's probably $200 worth of, of actual raw materials in this. Um, and, you know, and then you add the time and uh and then you've got to pay you know you've got to pay your royalties and license fees or whatever to the artists or the, the the copyright owners um it's um you know it's kind of i mean you know the raw materials it, it, it's it, it is probably at least half the cost of what of, of the actual final product now i don't think there's many you know LPs, CDs, you know, CDs certainly cost pence to make. LPs cost a couple of quid, maybe at, at best. You know, the these are these are really cheap. There's, you know, there is no way that uh, Chad is making money, vast money. He might be, he might be making money out of the. I don't suppose he'd be doing it if he's making a loss, but I, I bet he's making virtually nothing out of this. Um, Certainly, there are there are no discounts to be had, and all the rest of it. It's 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 um, 
it's a very fine line but th these things are the ultimate and you know god bless him for for making them available to us for those who want them um it's it's you know we're not buying uh we're not going down to a local kind of art shop and buying a poster of um you know the mona lisa or whatever um we're kind of buying the mona lisa it's it's or or, or you know a um a, one that came out of da vinci's studio as you know if, 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 if you could imagine such a thing it is not a mass-produced product and and as such for the money i think it's really reasonable and in terms of what you get you you will you will not have heard anything like these so just to quickly run through what else there's a sheet of there's a sheet in here which is just uh really just a you know, care care notes don't put them anywhere remotely near loudspeakers or magnets that's pretty much the main thing extreme sources of cold and heat and humidity won't do them any good next thing is uh you know a very nicely printed um reproduction of the full cover art the original gatefold album so we've got all of that here um and um yeah I, mean, I think i think that really kind of wraps it up now i will be doing more having done this one i will be doing more reviews videos whatever you want to call these of tape as i say i've got um I mean, you know, this is this is the sixth analog productions altered tape into the house i've got five more up there i've got what, 19 tape project tapes um and dozens from other manufacturers too so there's a lot to talk about and a lot to feature and I'm, i might do a couple of videos just on the sort of the overall general thing of tape because i've got to say it's 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 um it's stunning and it, it actually uh transformed my whole um perception of recorded music really and where the where the limitations are and what the, you know move the goalposts significantly you can't ignore this i can only advise you to uh take a look at the links below have a look at um have a look at the ones from analog productions because they really uh explain how they do it and what they do it have a look at my website real to real rambler um and explains as much as i can and um and uh, take a look at the link down below because i believe david brooke has got two or three of these left at, at that price and um you know as i say as soon as you know i'd already heard a couple so i knew how good it was going to be um uh, but but trust me you've got to you know you will not hear anything better it's as simple as that and on that note, uh, I thank you for um, I thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, and um, look forward to the next one. Take care now. Bye.